Yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a gravity coil, gravity like slash speed coil. This tutorial was requested by my subscribers. Name is Real Sun. So yeah, he requested this. So yeah. In terms of like actually making the speed coil to like you guys know how it is, like there's like space in between each like I guess you could say coil and stuff like that. That I won't be showing you guys how to make. You'd have to search for a different tutorial, but I'll be showing you guys the scripting for like how it makes the player like run faster and then slow down when they end equip and stuff. I'll be showing all that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so first you're gonna need to make a tool stuff because well obviously this is gonna be a tool. You could just name it uh we'll we'll call it speed coil. And then let's let's get a part, let's make a cylinder, right? We'll scale the cylinder. We want this to like go on the player's arm. Now listen guys, I noticed that this doesn't look all that nice and stuff, but look, it's just for demonstration. Okay. Look, so that's about good, right? Yeah, that's about good. So then this will go on our player's arm, so it'll work as like a as a gravity coil. We'll make it color blue because all of them are all the gravity coils are blue. And then what you guys want to do is Control D, which is literally just duplicate it, and then we just want to make a hole in it. So hold on, let me extend that out. If you guys don't know how to make, literally like, I'll show you guys here. So just scale the part, put it inside of the other part, and then just you guys are about to see what I'm talking about. Let me just change the color of this so you guys see what it looks like. Well, actually, no, I need to keep it blue. But yeah, you guys can tell. Make sure you have it going on the outside and stuff. And then yeah, and then scale it up a little so it has a little space. Then you want to go over here to model, then go up here to solid modeling, click negate. Make sure you click negate on the part that's going inside, the one you want to make a hole. Then you want to while having the uh, the part that you're using to make a hole selected, can hold control and then left click the part, then click union and boom, you guys have a hole. Yeah, uh, making holes and and stuff will definitely allow you to do more stuff. But yeah, so yeah, so we're just gonna, our player's arm is gonna go through there. So yeah, there we go. So this is our um, I guess you could call this speed coil part. And then um, we gotta have a uh, what's it called? A handle, like where we want the player to, where we want the player's arms to go. In. So pretty much for this, you could just make a smaller version of this, then just move it in, then just literally just put it in the middle. We're gonna set it to transparent, so literally just like yes, yeah, put just put it in the middle. It doesn't even have to be like the exact same size as the hole. Just put it in the middle. And then, yeah, like about right there, then we'll scale it to about right here. And then, yeah, we'll set the transparency to one. Make sure you guys name this part handle. You guys have to name this part handle. Then you'll insert a weld constraint. You do part zero, the handle, then part one, the speed coil part. And then next thing, you guys are going to want to, you could select both of them and then just insert them into speed coil. Okay, um, I want you guys to go over here, go over to the tool, change the grip forward to, I think it's one zero zero. We'll see when like we, when, when we test, but I'm pretty sure it's one zero zero. So just change the grip forward to one zero zero for now. We'll see though. Okay. Lastly, we just have to enter a script, right? We'll call this the speed. We'll call this the speed script. Okay. So. What you guys want to do is script dot parent dot equipped connect function parentheses or close parentheses and then here what you guys want to do is this so since the player has it equipped that means it's equipped to the player's character in the workspace so all we would literally have to do is just do script dot parent dot parent dot humanoid dot walk speed you guys can change the walk speed to however much you want. I'm gonna make it 50. That's gonna be our speed up. And then for unequip, unequip is a little bit, it's a little complicated, not that much though. Since when you unequip it, it goes into the player's backpack, which is located in the player service instead of the workspace service. So what I recommend doing for this is I recommend getting the local player, which is like getting the player's name. So basically script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name if you if you follow this order like you have the script inside the tool then you should be able to then this should work for you and then make another variable local character and then do game that workspace find first child 
this is actually very helpful though for you guys and stuff like that like if you're ever um wondering how to like get stuff like that you could just use a variable to get the name and then just search through the workspace have two variables and stuff this will come very handy for uh future stuff but yeah though so yeah we're gonna do that then we're gonna do character dot humanoid dot oh, dot walk speed we're gonna set it back to the to the default which is of course 16 all right so then if we so then if we make sure you take the uh speed coil and put it in starter pack so your player loads in with it okay now if we click play load in our speed coil here oh yeah, there we go see there it is you guys see my arm is through it well it could be smaller but it doesn't matter but yeah though so look you guys can obviously see i run way faster with it if i unequip it back to 16 walk speed you guys can see i run faster so as i equip it slow down if you guys want to just see what it looks like here you could just pay attention right here right there which is walk speed you can see the value changes and stuff every time i equip it you can see the speed coil as it but here's what i meant though and stuff it's when i have it equipped it's in workspace but if i unequip it it's in the player service because it's located in my backpack but anyway yeah though so yeah that's the uh, end of the speed coil tutorial and stuff as always if you guys have any questions just ask them in the comments i will do my best to respond to help you if you guys need any type of help and stuff uh don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you thank you for watching and stuff and always um if you guys have any tutorials that you want to see and stuff like that just literally just ask me in the comments i'll get a video out. maybe not right away but definitely in a few days to a week i'll get a video out for you and stuff but yeah Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I'll see y'all.